you know, if you're anything like the average golfer, it means that you probably don't use your weight shift and turn, meaning all the big muscles of the body during your golf swing, but instead your swing probably gets more dominated by tense pulling arms. So, hey, if you're in that category, then coming up right after this, I've got a really, really great everyday drill that you can do that will help promote uh, movement and action, the right actions, of all the muscles of the pivot and the turn of the torso. So you can really develop a more effortless, full body powered swing. So, hey, don't go away. Hey, I'm Steve with HitItLonger.com. I'm on a journey to hit it longer and straighter off the tee, but also longer and straighter all the way to the flag as that helps me lower my scores and helps me have a lot more fun while I'm out on the golf course. If you're on a similar journey and you'd like to get a little bit longer and straighter with your swing too, then by all means, join me, hit the subscribe button uh, at the end, like this video if you liked it, and please leave a comment down below. And don't forget to pick up my two freebies. I've left links down below to my two free items that I think are gonna help your swing a lot. That is my 50 tips ebook book for hitting your longest drives ever and my 30 minute slice cure video that is going to help any slicer uh, turn their slice into a powerful draw and get a lot more yardage. Uh, both of those are going to help you pick them up. Okay so this is actually one of my favorite drills to do. Um, I use this with beginners to help show them the right pivot and the way that the pivot stimulates or causes a response by the torso to wind and unwind. So I think that the lower body needs to trigger the torso to turn. This will really get you out of the habit of overusing the arms and therefore starting to get really tense and try to pull the club down into the ball instead. So this is a drill I recommend that you do every day and you can do it um, during your warm-up when you go to hit a bucket of balls. So I've got my my big bucket here At home, it's as easy, easy to reproduce by just using a water bucket So get your conservation bucket out fill it about two-thirds of the way with water You'll have a nice amount of weight and the same kind of swinging idea that you'll get with this bucket of balls so you see, I've got a lot of weight in this bucket of balls, and, and what we're going to learn how to do is to initiate movement at three pairs of joints, the two hips, two knees, and two ankles. So what we're after with the hips is this motion, so that the hips can go up and down as they go a little bit side to side. So a lot of people, they don't have a lot of weight shift which this will promote. So we're gonna do that with the hips. The knees, we're just going to simply like we're marching, like this, so the knees flexing and extending. Let me do it from the side view. I'm flexing and extending the knees alternately, like I'm walking in place until my heel just barely leaves the ground. So keep flexing the knee forward till your heel leaves the ground. Very easy to do. And then the third action at the ankles or the feet, it's going to be just to roll in, roll in, roll in, and that's it. Okay, so now I'm going to use the bucket of balls to combine those three pairs of movements. Good stuff towards developing a really repeating powerful golf swing. Uh, you've seen some of my other videos where we uh, practice the figure seven. This will also get you started on that. I'm going to hook my arm. Now I'm going to give this a little bit of a kick in with the back foot first to overcome inertia and get it started. See, like that. So I kicked my left hip down the wall. I kicked my right knee in towards the center and I allowed my torso to respond by unwinding in the target word direction. And now I'm just go back and forth. Get the feet involved. Notice that I've got very small swings here. 
right post, left post, then right post, left post. You'll see you'll get a nice rhythm going. This will not only help you with activating all the muscles of the hips and the legs and the feet, but it's also going to help you start developing this waltz tempo that we'd like to do. A nice even waltz tempo. Ready? And one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Notice how my feet and my knees are causing my torso to wind and unwind while my head stays steady right between my feet. Now looking at it from the side view or the down the line view at home, You'll also see how this exercise now starts to promote the body turning on the proper plane. The body will wind on the proper plane. You see, if you tried to tur turn the hips too flat, the bucket would simply crash into your back knee. So it's going to eliminate those people who end up turning too flat and taking the club back too far to the inside. But instead, this bucket needs to make a nice neat little arc following the turn of the torso. Watch my feet and my knees and my glutes are really activating this thing. There is no arm pull at all. I've eliminated any arm from this equation and I'm really feeling how my the big muscles in my back and my rear end are now being forced to work to push this thing back and forth. Alright, for those of you who are wanting to build a more powerful and repeating golf swing, I would do that exercise at least 50 times a day. It doesn't take that long, even 100 repetitions, because each direction should be about one second. So doing 25 repetitions in a row should take you 50 seconds. You could do rest after that and do four sets of those. That's 100 repetitions and you're going to be done in only about five or six set, uh, minutes. So it doesn't take very long. This is a great drill. You see how many different really awesome things that it develops besides the use of the lower body and the torso to kind of dominate the swing with a powerful pivot. It's teaching you plane. It's teaching you tempo and rhythm. Really is a fantastic drill. Uh, the next step would be to now to take a club and at first I would do this with no ball. So if I'm on the range warming up, I would do this one first about 50 times, get everything kind of warmed up. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but instead of gripping the bucket, I'm just going to insert a golf grip into my hand, still hook the arm, and then just go back and forth this way, initiating the same bucket swinging motion. Just like that. So you can see how my feet are rolling in, my knees are flexing to the middle, my right hip is posting on the back swing and my left hip is posting on the down swing. It really winds up giving you a very fluid and effortless sense of power in your swing. All right, now this exercise, same thing from the down the line view. I'm hooking the arm and I'm taking the arm out of play. This is gonna be, here's my bump, well, my and, and, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And you see what this is also doing as the body, the torso, the shoulders, and the hips are now forced to have the right tilt to turn ratio. That the club face and the club head are going to be tracking perfectly around the arc that we're seeking without having too much rotation of the club face. So you'll actually be able to next use this exercise to chip and pitch some golf balls with and that would be step three. So you swing the bucket 50 times, you might swing a nine iron back and forth 20 or 30 times. That'll have you fully warmed up with a good pivot fresh in your mind. Now I'm just going to take a regular grip. Same motion now. 
and so with a nine iron I'm able to get right around a hundred yards or so carry out of this swing and yet I feel so relaxed and effortless here and just can't keep hitting consistently to the same target it's very very consistent motion and it's a great swing builder this activity I'll do it just a little chip this time with the one hour motion of the bucket and there I've got just a kind of a chip and run across the green with the nine iron. Okay, so now that you've really grooved that, call it the, like the first floor of, ground floor of your mansion or your high rise, now you can start to build on top of that with bigger and bigger swings, start winding up bigger. And hitting the ball out there farther until finally you're at full swings with the short iron. Um, after that, you can switch clubs during your routine, start working longer clubs. And if you have any struggles during your session, feel free to just come on back to swinging the weight of the bucket again. This is where it's all gonna get started. Really feeling how the pros on TV use the big muscles of the body to heave the arms around the circle rather than trying to pull the club around the circle. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you did hit that subscribe button, thank you so much for helping my channel get over now the 30,000 subscriber milestone. I, I am humble and grateful. I am your servant. I hope that in the future we can stick together and I can keep helping you get longer and straighter off the tee, lower your scores and have more fun.